the intro of this song you have. So you're just strumming for that first bit. It's the A bar chord, and you heard that little feature there where I'm doing it kind of around the drum type thing. Will does this a lot where he's doing a little melody on, or a little thing on, um, not much of a melody, he's doing it on a, it's a B string, so it's fingered, and he's playing it. He's playing a, the e, e string open, it's simultaneous. So with that, with the feature is, it's being fingered with the A, uh, it's on the 5th fret of the B string, and then being slid up 2 frets on that last little bit, and on the G there, it's being slid up 2 frets from the E3 to the A, again, nothing is going on with the E string, it is always open, and that's all for the intro. Well, actually, no. It's that you do that twice. You do that whole thing twice until the verses. This song is simple, but it has more rhythmic complexities than anything else. So for the verses, it's just gonna be. Progression happens twice for both of the verses, and like I said, there's not a lot going on on the chords. It's that complicated. That many fingerings is going on. A lot, of, like a lot of chord seat headrest songs, it's just strong patterns and um, rhythmic stuff like that. You have to pay attention to. So really, you're just down strumming. Starts really you're supposed to have with this full A bar chord figured, figured, but you don't have to. You just have D G B D G D G B fingered. You can have the D G B strings of the A power chord fingered. So that's going to be your first finger on the five of the B, and then your middle finger on the six of the G, and then your seven, your, your second finger on the seven of the D, and so have this pattern going on here where, say you're playing, uh, for those first three notes you just playing the first string, second string, and the first string, um, in this selection of three strings, I mean, not the first string of your guitar. And then after that, you're sliding up to the seven with your middle finger on the G string, then down to the four back to the 6. So all in all, that sounds like... Well, actually, I guess you don't really have to have this last string finger. I never thought about that, because you can technically just have these two finger. And then, I'm going to go to a G bar chord shape, technically, but you're only playing these top three strings. That's just going to be the um, just playing top to bottom those three strings. Then you're going to go into a B minor shape, same deal, only those top three strings, and uh, playing them top to bottom. So what we've got so far 
is. And then I'm gonna be jumping back to um, the G uh, G bar chord, but it's gonna be kind of a similar deal to the A I showed you earlier, but it's gonna be slide down two frets, if that helps. last little bit there, not the accidental slip. So you're doing this pattern on both of them, where you're hitting two, one, three, two, one, one, two, one, three, two, one. So in total, that is He's kind of just riffing on this one chord progression. And how that chord progression goes is D, A, F sharp minor, D sus4, E. So it's four bars. But in the last bar, you are playing the E sus4 and the E. And I can tell you for sure um, that after the last time you played a solo, last chorus that it starts as just how that chord progression goes but then he's kind of riffing on it in his spoken bit but then I can tell you for sure um, well you really if you really want to do anything you can do like a um, when he's skipping the E sus and then every other time he's doing I didn't do that timing right but he's just kind of skipping out on the A entirely and he does that so that little pattern of doing skipping out on the E sus 4 and then skipping out on the A he does that pattern I guess three times during his spoken bit and then um, and at the beginning of where he's like screaming, he's doing that pattern four times. And it's gonna end just on an E. He's gonna be droning on on that E. 